Good afternoon and welcome to First Baptist Church Collingwood. Um, we are here again and uh, I just want to share some thoughts from a psalm to bring us encouragement during this week of Easter. Many people call it Holy Week because uh, it's really the time that we remember that what is the focus of our faith, where uh, we derive our faith from and how much we really depend upon God and we, need, we can have that relationship with him through knowing Jesus. But the Psalms are always the place that I go for encouragement and, and uh, on Sunday I shared about Palm Sunday and uh, Psalm uh, 19 is where I'm going to now. And uh, it says this, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heaven, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It's like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. Hallelujah. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. In these days, we need to recognize that the scriptures bring us comfort, that God his power is evident in, the, in nature, in the universe, in the heavens. The heavens declare the glory of God. You know, human beings as we are, we think that we are great and we we achieve a lot and at the moment there is the Mars rover that is bringing back pictures to Earth of Mars. But Mars is just a tiny speck in the universe. Just as this globe in which we live, the Earth is so small and yet all are in place because God brought these things into being. And we we recognize that it's amazing just to watch, just to see on a dark night the brightness of the sky, if the moon is shining, if the stars are, are glistening as the clouds are gone. Just look and be amazed. And we are so blessed by the sun, are we not? We love to feel the warmth of the sun. And it's been good these past, well, 
Just the other day, we were able to sit out and enjoy the sun and the warmth, even in March. God blesses us. So in nature, we see God, and then we look to his word, and he says, the law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. And talks about all that is in Scripture for us. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. Do you believe that? I do. We can find comfort and strength from the scriptures. And to know him and to know how much he loves us is, we can't fully describe what it feels like. To know that we are loved in such a way by the one who created all things. And his son went through so much for us. The psalmist in his prayer is saying that sometimes the scriptures bring warning. By them your servant is warned in keeping his great reward. God has declared what is right and what is wrong. He is the only one who is righteous. We all fail, but we need to know that we can turn to him and receive the forgiveness. Because the psalmist says, who can discern their own errors? We don't look at ourselves in that way. God does, though. And so he says, forgive my hidden faults. In other words, those things that I don't understand, that I, I'm doing wrong, please forgive me. And then he needs, he recognizes the need for help to prevent us from willful sins. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. How much we need to hear that too. We need to pray that prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The words of our mouths, words mean something. Don't throw away words. Remember, we need to please him. He loves us. We love him because he first loved us. May these words of our, my mouth and the meditation of my heart, what is it that you think about? What is it that you set your heart upon? I pray that it will set your heart upon what is honorable, what is good? Think upon these things. Think upon the good things. Today we are just being told over and over again, if we turn on news, it's all the bad things. We've started turning the news off because it's such a negative part of our lives if we let it rule us. And I'm afraid we were falling into that trap. Meditate upon the good things. I'm sure you can count your blessings and you can think of all the good things that you need to be thankful of. May that be the meditation of your heart. Be thankful for where you are. Maybe you're going through a difficult time. But you can know God's help. You can know his strength. 
as he says, may these words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. He is our rock and our redeemer. I pray during this week that you will just pause, consider the greatness of the universe, and consider the greatness of God, and yet consider that he loves you. He wants you to have a relationship with him. He invites you to be part of the family. And I pray that the real meaning of all that took place, all that Jesus did for you and for me, as we remember this week, that you will be encouraged and humbled. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner, condemned, unclean. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Let's pray. Lord, I pray that you help us. May the meditation of our hearts the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you. Help us, Lord, to draw closer to you. Forgive us for those times when we failed and show us our hidden faults, that we might put them right. Help us, protect us from those things that we may be tempted by. Instead, Help us to give you all the glory, all the praise, because you are worthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.